ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா வெல்கம் டு கிருஷ்ணா ஸ்கியூசின் ஐ ஆம் பவன் சுந்தரி ராதா தேவிதாசி வித் அனதர் ராதாஷ்டமி ஸ்பெஷல் ரெசிபி ஆஸ் வி நோ தட் ராதா ராணி லைக்ஸ் அர் பி அ லாட் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு மேக் அ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் டெலிகேசி வி மேக் சோ மெனி டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் கோஃப்தாஸ் பட் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு மேக் அர் பி கோஃப்தா திஸ் ரெசிபி மேட் அப் ஆஃப் Taro root is unique and amazing. Arbi is an all-rounder. We can make varieties of dishes out of this. One amongst them is this sabji. Arbi koftas are also favorable for chaturmas as we have prepared this without curd. This kolokashiya koftas is a very good and rich festive sabji option. So let's get started. Here I have taken 250 grams of arbi and wash it well. Boil this kolokashiya for 3 whistles in a cooker and let it cool. I have boiled, cooled and grated the arbi. This grate is around 1 and 1/2 cup. Transfer this into a mixing bowl. Into this add salt to taste. 1 tsp coriander powder 1/2 tsp roasted cumin powder 1/2 tsp black salt 1/2 tsp garam masala 1 tsp ginger chili paste 2 tbsp chopped coriander leaves combine all these ingredients well using a spoon I have listed down all the ingredients below in the description box you can refer it I have mixed well now add 3/4 cup of gram flour or besan now mix it well with your palm gently I had shared Radha Ashtmi special recipes which you will find in the Radha Ashtmi special recipes playlist whose link I have shared in the description box below. This has mixed well. Now add 1 teaspoon of oil. Mix it well so that it doesn't turn stickier. and the besan arbi and all the masalas incorporate well and get a bind you can see our mixture is ready now apply some oil onto your palm and make kofta If you feel that the mixture is loose and not forming balls then you can add two more teaspoon of besan Similarly make all the koftas You can make these of your desired size with these all our koftas are ready Let's move to the gravy for this heat 2 tablespoon of oil Now add 3 cardamom 4 to 5 cloves add 1 tsp ginger chili paste saute them well now add 10 to 12 cashews and 4 to 5 tbsp of melon seeds saute this for a minute now add 5 diced tomatoes add salt mix it well we need to cook this until the tomatoes soften and turn mushy Cook this on low flame. 
After 5 minutes you can see the tomatoes are softening. Let it cook for more 2 minutes. You can see the oil has released and the tomatoes have softened. Now turn off the flame and let this mixture cool. Meanwhile let's fry the koftas. Here the oil has heated. Let's add in the koftas and fry them on low flame. Do not touch it immediately after putting them into the oil. After half a minute, let's turn them over and fry them. You can observe this all not sticky, rather frying separate and perfectly. Fry the koftas until they turn golden brown and crispy. Keep turning them over now and then to fry them equally from all sides. You can see the koftas have got a wonderful crisp and color. Let's take them out in a plate and fry all the koftas in the same way. Here I have got all the koftas fried. Let's proceed for the gravy. The mixture has cooled well. Take a mixer jar and transfer this mixture. Grind it into a smooth paste. I have ground it. Let's check. We have got a smooth paste. Let's make the gravy. For this take a kadai and heat 1 tablespoon of ghee and 1 tablespoon of oil. Add half teaspoon cumin seed, 1 fourth teaspoon asafoetida or hing and add the paste that we prepared. In the same mixi jar take some water and pour it in this gravy. Mix all this well and cook it on low flame. This gravy is so rich and easy to make. It has limited ingredients yet has an exotic taste. Stir the gravy constantly to avoid sticking and until the ghee releases. After 5 to 7 minutes, you can see the ghee has released. Now add salt, 1 tablespoon coriander powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon red chili powder, add half teaspoon garam masala. Mix all this well. Make sure to add salt as per the requirement as we have added salt previously in the paste. The gravy has thickened. Now add 3 fourth cup of water. Let the gravy simmer for 2 more minutes. You can see the gravy is well cooked. Now add 1 tablespoon of kasuri methi or dry fenugreek leaves by crushing it against your palm. Add 1 tablespoon of sugar. Adding kasuri methi after crushing with your palm enhances its flavor much more. Our gravy is ready. Now add the fried koftas. Mix them. Even if you have to serve this later on, you can add the kofta now as this do not get mushy. Sabji is ready. Turn off the flame. Our Arbi koftas are ready. Let's place a tulsi leaf and offer to Sheshi Radha Madhav. 
Our Radhashtmi special Arbi Kofta is ready. It goes amazingly well with puri, paratha, chapatis or rice. If you like Boga recipes, please like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon below so you do not miss any Boga recipe. Hare Krishna, Hari Bol, Radhe Radhe.